gonna meet ya! Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to Lola's farm. Jordan and Kaylee here, <laughs> coming at you live. I've just been looking at this screen at you with your sunglasses on. <laughs> Dude, it's so bright right now. <laughs> so today's the day. Don't give any false promises. We're gonna finish this freaking dome. This part's not gonna be done, but this dome is gonna be done by the end of this video. We did the math the other day and we've already put somewhere around 80 hours into building this pizza oven. Is 80 hours worth it for pizza? 1,000 hours is worth it. <laughs> All the hours are worth it. And as fun as this project has been, this has been one of the most fun things I think we've built here on the farm. I'm ready to be done with this block and the refractor cement and just being covered in cement powder every day. The fun part is gonna be making the pizza. And that's coming up soon, so let's just get this thing done. That looks like poison pizza. Look, it looks ah! like a pizza. <laughs> this is getting really, really challenging now. It's getting very vertical. This row is all done. Combining the doorway with the dome is done. But now we're going here, which is nearly straight up and down. The challenge is just going to continue, but I'm, I'm really happy that this challenge is done because that had a lot of angles and it was it was really hard. So I'm gonna get all sappy on you guys again. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I feel like I've just been having a lot of moments of reflection recently. But it's crazy looking back at little Kaylee when I was seven or eight years old. And as a child, I always envisioned and I always dreamt about living on a farm and living a very, very simple life. I don't know exactly the moment when that started or what kind of triggered that moment. I don't know if maybe I just visited a farm one day and was like, this is it, this is what I want. <clears throat> but it's pretty surreal living that reality now. And almost like that dream has come full circle. And even as a kid, like I remember watching adults do things, like very simple things and specifically my parents, both my mom and my dad. I felt like when they would do simple tasks, they put so much like presence and heart and soul in what they were doing. And as simple as cooking or my dad was always super handy. So he was always working on different projects and he was always so just like in the zone. And it's something that I'm constantly trying to incorporate every single day of my life. And one little saying that I keep coming back to and that I keep trying to really live is how you do anything is how you do everything. Baby in the bed. It's super zoomed in, honey. It's probably just your forehead. <laughs> we got the baby in the bed. <laughs> Working with her on my back. My back's pretty darn sore. <laughs> I like having a break every once in a while. And just getting her more and more um, used to sleeping in her crib is definitely something that we've been working on a lot as well recently. Yep. <laughs> Bye honey, love you. I'll be back in a little bit. Right. So Jared is usually the one that does the hardware store trips, but today I'm going for a change. Sadie's with Adriana 
and I haven't left the house in like three or four days. So I offered to go, go get some fresh air and uh, take a little cruise. You ready, honey? Come on, baby. <laughs> Good girl. One thing that is insanely cool about our setup up here is that on our land, it feels like we are so out of touch with society. And uh, you know, we all we have is cows for neighbors and you don't ever really hear other people or really traffic that much that goes by. But the beauty of it is we're only 10 minutes to town. So even though we have the feeling as though we're in the middle of nowhere, we can still have the convenience of running to town fairly quickly to get pretty much anything and everything that we need. And I'm pretty sure this is Lola's absolute favorite thing in the entire world is going for a ride in the car. I don't know if you guys can tell either, but they just redid our entire road. See how flat it is? Before, it was so bad. And they typically do it once a year, but they hadn't done it because of COVID. And then we had a huge, huge um, rainstorm that came and just like totally annihilated the whole road. And it's been like that for about a year now. And they just finally um, smoothed it all out. And man, it makes a world of a difference going up and down this road. It probably cuts the time of our drive up here totally in half, which is just amazing. Good, how are you? Long time no see. So I need to get some more fire brick. Uh -huh. How many? Um, 40. I joke around with Jord all the time that that cashier there is Jordan's hardware store girlfriend because every time he comes back with a huge handful of chocolates from her. But I guess she does that for everybody. <laughs> Hola, como esta? Uh, si, si, si. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. Cada buen día. Hi, honey. Hi, sweetie. We got the goods, baby. Come here, good girl. Get on, get on. <laughs> we are finishing the dome today. I don't care if I'm out here till 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m. We're getting this thing freaking done. Let's get this thing <laughs> done, baby. I gotta say, I was feeling really doubtful when we started this morning, but Jordan's been absolutely crushing it. We're really, really closing in on this thing. I think we probably have maybe about one row after the one that he's working on now, but it's getting a little bit tricky because usually I go ahead and kind of fill in all of the cracks that are on the inside, but I can't really get to them right now. So I think once he finishes this row, either one of us is gonna have to try to somehow crawl into there and finish kind of filling in all of those other little um, cracks on the inside before we put the last couple final pieces on the top. I really don't know what happened to you. You don't know what happened to me? You used to be maximum chill. Maximum chill? Yeah. Try to sleep in bed for as long as you can. It'd be 11, it'd be like one more hour. You know, try to just, I mean, I'm gonna just be zen. Your mindset used to just be all about maximum chill. It was, it was, yeah, you're right. And I don't know, I, th I think it's ever since he had a, we had a baby. Now Kaylee's just like, what should I do next? What can I do next? What should I do now? It's like, doo, 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 just getting stuff done, getting stuff done, just trying to get in there, get cement in all the cracks. I don't know what it is. Like, I'm just like, life's just more fun now. Like, I just want to do as much as possible. <laughs> I think you are rubbing off on me. I think that's that's also part of it. <laughs> I'm just kind of out of my mind. I just like... And that was the thing that Jordan and I always said was like, 
We always complimented one another. Anytime I go on social media, they're always serving me ADHD medication ads, like nonstop ADHD meds, ADHD meds. I'm like, Facebook, are you trying to, are you trying to tell me something? And I'm like, this is why I don't go on Facebook, and I just turn that crap off. <laughs> so it's like, there's like 16 different ADHD med brands. I know, and it's probably because you have like 16 different web browsers up that you're constantly <laughs> just jumping from one to one, and it's just crazy. This little bub is just waking up. Had a nice little nap on mama's back. Today is actually Sadie's five month birthday. Well, technically- It's her five month day. Her five month day. Her five month day. Her five month alive day. Oh, <laughs> little bub. Happy birthday. Happy five month birthday. Happy month day. <laughs> but it's so funny how I feel like we go through these different stages every week. Every week there's something new and her demeanor is different, her mood is different, and I feel like this last week she's just been like an absolute <coughs> angel. Like, barely cries, barely fussy, here and there, every so often she's a little overtired, but like, nothing like it used to be when she was, you know, a newborn. Lola's also still trying to figure her out. Sadie absolutely loves her. She's always just like reaching for her, and Lola's still a little unsure. <laughs> <laughs> so he said to his mother, I am running away. If you run away, said his mother, I will run after you for you are my little bunny. This is it, the very last row. Look how cool that looks from top down. I'm pretty proud with how circular that circle is. It's not very like oval shape, we did pretty good. This stick method, if any of you guys are looking at building a pizza oven, I highly recommend the stick method. I was looking at people who fill it with sand, I was looking at people who use exercise balls. The stick method, I think, was very, very easy to use. So just a little tip for any of you guys that are looking to build a pizza oven out there, but we still have one row left, and then we could finally call this a day. If you guys are thinking of building a pizza oven, buy one. <laughs> Don't spend weeks and weeks and weeks building one. Just, just go out and buy one. Buy <laughs> one. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you doing? Marching. Why? Because I'm cold. <laughs> but I don't know where. But I have no idea it, it will take me somewhere. I get, are you okay? <laughs> I'm just making sure that all the cracks in here are all filled just to retain all the heat. I don't want it going through cracks, finding its way through, having hot spots. I'm kind of concerned. I really should put a fire blanket on the outside of this next and then put the insulation and then the finishing layer. But I just like, I don't want to. I'm hoping I can just put a finishing layer on it and call it a day. But the thing is, if the brick on the outside gets over 150 degrees Fahrenheit, that's when concrete starts to break down. A Little bit of a buzzkill. We have the last piece to put in here, but no more cement. So I guess we didn't finish it today. We came really, really close. <laughs> I know this looks very strange and not too great, but you're never gonna see any of this. There's gonna be insulation and there's gonna be three layers covering that. But what I am happy about is how round it actually looks. Like it's, Looks pretty symmetrical, looks pretty good. Look at Rodrigo. Run, boy, run! <laughs>
<laughs> just running with the goats. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about how round this is and how it turned out. If you're wondering why we made a round oven instead of a square, this retains heat a lot better. That's why you see a lot of these ovens being rounded and there's not that many square ones because it retains heat a lot better, especially when it's 900 degrees like this one's gonna be. You did it! We did it! Yeah, but mostly you. Yeah, you were right there with me the whole time. I was, I was, I was yeah, here, here and there. <laughs> Check it out. It's done. I'm trying to debate. I need to fill in a few gaps up here. You can see some of those little cracks that are still a little deep. But I'm just trying to debate if I need to get in there and clean. Like we really tried to clean that part because when you look, you know, you can see all those bricks. So we made sure those were kind of like spotless, but I don't know, like I kind of want to get in there and clean every single brick. I'm not going to do it today. It's 6.30. It's late. I'm hungry. I'm cold. And I'm just going to stop complaining now and go inside and take a shower. <laughs> Well, that's it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for following along with our Pizza Dome build, and for those of you that have followed along on the whole thing, it's been such a blast, such a good challenge, such a good puzzle. And now the fun really begins, because now we can start making pizzas in it. There's still some more work to do on it. Now it's time to take it from being functional to making it, well, still functional with the installation, but then also beautiful, which I'm really excited for. So we love you guys so much. Thank you so much for following along, and we'll see you next time.